Mountain Soup began with the idea of an ice cream social. And some pots had been made in our the adult ceramics here. And then we wanted to do something a little more. So dreaming up out of my years of, as a fundraiser and a community builder, looking for a, a way to help the community remember our community center. This was in 2007. People only thought of it as a rec center. So to elevate that sense of community, looking for a story to do that with, Stone Soup, that uh, uh, folk tale that all over the world you can find that same storyline in cultures everywhere in the world. I thought there couldn't be a more powerful story than to use that. So between pottery and culinary arts and musical arts and performance arts, we decided that we could bring this all together and really remind our community of what we have and what we can become the more we work together. So 2007 we did that, it was fabulous, fun, everybody couldn't wait to do it again. 2008 we had even a more spectacular time, 800 bowls, 600 people, um, we ran out of soup and we celebrated each of those years. Finally we have community leadership truly shepherding what happens here and this is the inauguration of that new era of uh, stone soup as a philosophy of what Mendocino is and what our, our community center stands for. Uh, today again we've sort of pulled all the stops and brought as many different dimensions of our community together. So we've got uh, 70 gallons of soup cooked by all of the best chefs up and down our coast. Not, not that there aren't some absolutely wonderful ones that we didn't ask or whatever. Um, we've got wonderful breads and desserts and all of that in the kitchen. Uh, starting off when people enter the room today, or enter the building today, there are over 500 bowls that have been handcrafted by local potters. Everybody gets a chance to look over these beautiful bowls and find their bowl. That bowl is, in a sense, the symbol that lasts. It's the sort of vessel of the community spirit that we're trying to create in the stone soup. So people fill their bowls with the feast, and then they go to one of the rooms. There's music happening all day in the community room. There's theatrical readings in the theater room. There's art happening in the art room. There's silks, circus silks happening even for a short period of time in the uh, silk and exercise room. Out in the dojo there'll be demonstrations. Out in the dog park and the community gardens and the batonque fields, there are people out there to share things that they love and to invite people to learn about them. So that's the basics of what we got. The money. We didn't sell tickets. We didn't take reservations. This is a wide open invitation. And everything that's happened here is, comes from the generosity of the community. What we are inviting is everybody to be as generous as they can be. So we know we'll have some people who maybe a family of five comes and they can afford $10. All the kids walk away with the bowls, the moms and dads, they have a wonderful time. They're just as important as the person who can write a check for much more than that. So the philosophy again is everyone welcome, everyone doing what they can. Uh, we also have on the tables a chance for people to give us some information about things that they care about, things they might like to teach or share or do or volunteer. And that's another way of sharing in and adding to the community pot. This is a dream come true for me. Uh, when we moved to Mendocino almost 10 years ago, the first place that was our family's community home was here. My son was first grade then, and I learned to throw bowls. I'm a good bowl thrower now. I learned to throw bowls here at the community center in the adult ceramics that they had. Uh, I dreamed that our community center would be what it's becoming now and that the community would really have the voice and leadership and uh, creative talent to, to make it be all that it can be. And that's what we're starting today, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's also secretly my birthday. Uh, <laughs> perfect. My birthday was a couple of days ago, but uh, this was my grand way of throwing a spectacular party and then just knowing that it's a celebration of who I am at this age and time in my life. And I couldn't be doing something that I care about more. So there we are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. So much.